it's Lady Devon right here and I am back at you with yet another video and happy World Goth Day! Woo! <laughs> so today I thought I would do a video talking uh, a little bit about um, me and why I'm goth and etc and obviously to wish you happy World Goth Day. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think I've talked about how me being goth uh, in like previous videos and um, I think I started to kind of go a little bit alternative when I was about 12 um, and then I because I didn't really know what I was when I was about 12 really I was just discovering myself alternatively so I kind of just, a lot of people labelled me as emo, which I, I don't, I wasn't trying to go for that look I don't think, but I think I just failed on the goth look when I was about 12 and then when I was 16 um, I started to kind of explore it more and go into more of the goth subculture as I thought that is the, where I want to be but even then I still couldn't quite express it I think because of years of being in college, school and college it kind of decompressed me and trapped me in society and I didn't know how to express myself and um, I just found it very hard and then it wasn't until uh, I left not long after I left college I started to kind of slowly drift into how I wanted to look and how I am today and it's been a long and hard process but I'm glad I am the me that I wanted to be when I'm 12 I was 12 years old and that's what I am happy for and I will be goth for the rest of my life when I'm in a in a like I said to mama goth when we're both, we should both, when we're old, when we both get in a care home, we shall still be wearing kill star and we shall still be in goth as AF. <laughs> so I am never going to stop looking like this and it's part of my life and it's never going to be torn away from me no matter what anybody tries to say about me or tries to bully me or says I'm not this, I'm not that. I don't care. This is me and I'm proud of it. And also, if it wasn't for, you know, I like to bring up Sophie Lancaster Foundation as well because Sophie Lancaster effectively died for being goth and if anything, she died for, because of the way she was. So we've got to honour that and not let anybody take the goth away from us because she died for what we believe in. So, rest in peace, Sophie Lancaster, and good thing you're doing, Sophie Lancaster Foundation. So, yeah, I am happy being goth. It's always been me, and I couldn't see myself any other way. Um, if I weren't goth, I wouldn't be Leanne. I wouldn't be Lily. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I honestly, I encourage you, if you are a, a little baby back watching this, don't let anybody discourage you on who you are. You keep fighting to be individual and be yourself. And as to the, everybody in the community, happy World Goth Day. And I hope you enjoyed this quick little chatty video. And I shall see you in the next one, my crystal guys and ghoulies. Bye.